the other person having an album coming out is JJ. Yes. Recently got into some beef. Yeah, it's it's been brewing, right? It's been brewing for a while now. Yeah, so I so basically for everyone who doesn't know, uh JJ obviously dropped a load of songs, one of them being Poppin. Yeah. And then a week after that, Rice Gum dropped a song. Um and one of the lyrics was he think it roughly he thinks he's popping, but where's his plaques at? Or something like that. Yeah. It was um, something along those lines. And it was like... Someone should tell him he's trash, yeah. Yeah, someone should tell him he's trash. So it was... I mean, some people were saying like, oh, there's no way he's written that about KSI. This song was recorded ages ago or something like that. Yeah. But, uh, it, it does just seem too convenient. Yeah, well, even before even that happened, they had the whole thing where JJ deleted the uh, Earthquake music video, right? So like... Yeah, so he privated it. Yeah. And then then he privated loads of videos though. Yeah. Like bear and then he put that one back up because we were kind of there like why have you not you know left some of the some of them up. So he pri- unprivated a load. <clears throat> um but then at the Logan Paul fight uh so Rice got a ticket from Logan. Yeah. Uh, because he said um JJ couldn't JJ didn't get him a ticket or something like that. Yeah, and I saw on drama that he was saying that he just didn't. Um, JJ Keen was saying I was the only American to get you know to get a ticket on JJ's side. Blah blah blah. Yeah, so Rice was kind of saying like, oh yeah, I wanted a ticket, so I got it from Logan, and then said, um, like, oh, I still supported JJ, but yeah. I'm pretty certain he he kind of like showed a lot of support to Logan during the fight, like yeah, before it and stuff. So I don't know. There became this like slight tension there. Um, that's when JJ then privated the video, I think, and then it kind of went on. And then this song came out where Rice Gum had like made the potential diss at JJ. Yeah. And then, um, JJ unfollowed Rice Gum on most stuff. (laughs) And then in this, so JJ has now posted a video where he unfollows Rice on Twitter too. Damn, was that, was that in the video? I've not seen it yet. Yeah, so Damn. in the interview, Keemstar and Rice Gum, Rice is like, oh, I think he's just kind of salty because, you know, he's annoyed that I make better music than him. Yeah. Kind of thing. He's like, oh, he doesn't make bad music, but, you know, I just think mine's better. Yeah. And then uh, Keem's like, oh, so he's unfollowed you on everything. And um, JJ goes, not everything. And then shows him unfollowing him on Twitter and then goes, now I unfollow him on everything. <laughs> JJ's a dickhead, man. So then he goes through the top 10 Rice Gum songs and top 10 KSI songs and does like a scoring system. Obviously, it is very biased because it's JJ rating it himself. <laughs> yeah. But it ends up like heavily in JJ's favor. Mm. But it does kind of make you realize JJ does actually have a lot of big songs. He's put out a lot of music, man. He's put out a lot of music. If you, if you think back all the way from... Um... You know, Lamborghini days, you know, keep up all that. He's got a lot of songs. Some obviously I know he's like not, not too proud of because, you know, it might, might be a cringe period for him, but um, it's, it's, they're still there. They're still, the fans still love him, you know, the audience still likes him. Friends with Benefits, etc. as well. Big song. Yeah. So he, he, uh, the thing I was actually very surprised about, because obviously it, uh, every night, sis, Rice Gum. Yeah. It, it banged, didn't it go like? It went, went platinum, bro. It went platinum in America. Yeah, which in America is harder to do in U- U- UK. Which is ridiculous. But I was looking and I was like, on Spotify, It's Every Night Sis has 47 million v- listens. Okay. Which I know is a hell of a lot. Yeah. Like, I know that is ridiculous. But I always thought that song was like a trillion times bigger than most stuff on YouTube. Down Like That has 49 million. Yeah, well, yeah, I think Down Like That is an anomaly... In terms of, I don't think you can compare those two because they just came out of different periods. Yeah, I know, I know, but like, you still, you still can look at it and go like, okay, well, down like that does still have as many listens. If you're gonna, if you're gonna sit there and go, oh, you know, this song is this big. Yeah, down like that is still huge. Yeah, for sure. But if you're going sure. with just like, I know, da- I know, uh, every night sis does have like 180 million list uh, views on YouTube. YouTube, yeah. But you're also looking at um, what's you're looking at. It's every day, bro. Having how many does it? Two hundred and sixty-five million views. And are you going to say it's every day, bro? Is a better song than every night, sis? Nah, nah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. So you can't always rely on the views. I don't know. It was just a yeah. I, it does actually make me that 
JJ video, I know I'm, I am biased and I know he's biased, but it did actually make me realize that Ricecom hasn't had as many big bangers. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, for sure. I mean, if, if you're, yeah, if you're asking me to re- like compare JJ's and Ricecom's music, JJ, like, obviously as a friend, JJ will win every single time. But I think even if I was trying to be unbiased, I still would say JJ has better songs. But I do think there's also a distinction in the fact that I don't think Ricecom has ever like actually tried to, you know, do this, take this seriously where I think JJ has. I don't know. Because what is, what is Ricecom doing at the moment? Right now, I think, right now, it's, yeah, right now, his, his recent song seems like he wants to go in the direction of, uh, you know, do more serious songs. But I, I wouldn't say, I, like, It's Every Day Sis was supposed every to be... Every Night Sis. Huh? It's Every Night Sis. Oh, sorry, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think that song was ever meant to be like, oh, we're going to, you know, we're going to release music. It was, just, it, was in, it was beef, right? It was like in the, it was YouTube yeah. drama, it was YouTube diss tracks, blah, blah, blah. But that is also, like, Rice Gum was always kind of known for his music. Like his diss tracks and stuff. Yeah, uh, yeah, I guess. Because JJ includes things like Little Boy and Adam's Apple and stuff like that. Okay. Which is, you know, the same kind of line. It's not, you're not putting that out to be full on like, oh, you're not going like, okay, I want to make a, a song that's going to chart. You're making nah, yeah, a but, track. Yeah, but at the same time, obviously, he, he, was working with, uh, he was working with the label at the time and like putting out EPs. I'm saying, so it's like, even, even though they weren't, even though they weren't like meant to be singles they were this track throwaways etc they still he was still in that mindset of i'm i'm, I'm trying to i'm trying to be an artist, artist right now where I, I, I personally i don't know if rice has ever done that yeah i don't know for me the whole thing comes down to just rice disappearing for ages mm. like he was he was banging like god church every night sis frick the police oh <laughs> yeah yeah and then he kind of came back and he did you know he did like the Fortnite and chill song i don't know yeah. if you heard that yeah heard that, that song was, it was actually decent yeah, it kind of flopped. It's, 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 it's obviously well. about it's it's about Fortnite. Like, <laughs> there's a limit on that song. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. To be fair, at the time though, Fortnite was popping. So like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't yeah, hate, hate game. it. No, but I mean, what are you like, saying, Brad? I got a song called Gulag coming out. Yeah, but <laughs> are you releasing that on an actual album? Um, potentially, yeah. And it's called Gulag. Yeah. Oh, I don't know about that, bro. <laughs> also, <laughs> right. I don't know. Call of Duty is like. It's not Fortnite. Fortnite is known. Yeah, yeah. I mean, a, it's, 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 a, a, ma, it's man's, man's a real song. It's not called like, it's not like Gulag and Chill, you know? <laughs> and your chorus doesn't go, Fortnite, <laughs> Fortnite. Yeah, it doesn't do that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was going to go back there to say, like, I, I, I can never believe that. I, I mean, I, I do believe it and I accept it, but I, like, I'm more, more surprised to realize that it's every night sis actually hit platinum because it's so hard to do, bro. Like, in the UK, Number of sales required to qualify for silver, gold, and platinum is 200k, 400k, and 600k. Why is there not a bronze? Um, I think that, I think there is, but it's just because you know there's like there's like wood, right? <laughs> oh my god, this was just different numbers. It's just not spoken about. That's so. What is so? What is uh, platinum in America? A million. And what's it in England? Or 600K? 600k, I believe. Jeez. Uh, so for, and for albums, is... for, for albums in the UK, it's 300k. Mad. So single singles are six hundred k platinum, and albums three hundred k platinum. Thing is, I guess that does make sense though, because it is like the amount of people. If you blow up in America, you've blown up to the whole of America. Yeah. If you blow up in the UK, like the the, the population kind of thing is just yeah, for sure. I, I get it, that. Yeah, but I'm just saying like sense. it's just a million. That is mad. Yeah, like I don't I don't know how they did that. Like and then, unless. Obviously, YouTube sales, YouTube streams must, must have been counting. And it must have been counting a lot, I think, for that to happen. So what is what is a Spotify play of uh, a sale? Like how right, many is so it? they've changed it now. So the way it works is a premium play or stream is 100 um, streams. So if you get 100... 100 streams is a buy. Yeah, but freemium is 600, I think, now. So, for example, if you are on Spotify and you don't pay for it, yeah, each play is six hundred. Uh, sorry, sorry. E- each sale is six hundred streams. If you're paid, it's a hundred, and it's the same on YouTube as well. If you're like YouTube Red or YouTube Music or whatever, or origi- whatever it is, YouTube Premium. And I'm not sure if it's YouTube Premium or if it's YouTube Music, or whatever. If you're paying, if you're paying for that, it's a hundred. Again, if you're not, it's six hundred. So every everyone watching right now, most people I guess don't have YouTube Premium or whatever. It's six hundred plays equals a sale. Okay. 
but and then uh, obviously iTunes and stuff is just one to one. Yeah, yeah. If you buy the yeah, if you buy the, the album, yeah. it's a, a sale. Yeah. So guys, by the way, JJ's album, go and pre order it. If you want to help this album do bits, if you want to see it uh, see it rise in the charts and, and and you know belong where it deserves to be, then make sure you buy it, pre order it on iTunes. That's the best way. And it's it's cheap. I think yeah. he's made it really cheap as well. Uh, I'm not sure exactly on, on the amount on the amount, but it's gonna be like ten pounds or less, you know. So if you've got ten pounds to your name, just um just drop it in on on the pre order and um yeah support the music man he's uh, he's been working hard on it and uh it's it's worth it as well it's such a like it's a really good album so we we I'm not just saying go and buy it to support I'm saying go and buy it and enjoy the music because it really is it's really is good it is really sick.